This is a construction update for the week of November 18th, provided to you by the City of Somerville and read to you by Lena, part of the Somerville Media Center. Improvement projects, Beacon Street reconstruction. Mass dot contractors plan to continue addressing final punch list, clean up items, and will apply the remaining green surface treatment when weather permits. Working towards Oxford Street, application will likely take place during the daytime hours over two to three mobilizations. Please expect variable parking restrictions and bike lane closures as needed. Green Line Extension. The GLX team will host their next public meeting Tuesday, November 19th at the East Somerville Community School at 6.30 p.m. The meeting will preview the next year of construction activity and project staff will share updated information on station designs and construction projects. You can also see the designs and other information in the most recent community workshop group meeting. Presentation slides. For a detailed summary of planned upcoming work, take a look at the latest construction update from MassDOT. Frequent overnight and weekend work is expected to continue through the end of the year. If you need any assistance for a GLX construction related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO or email info at glxinfo.com. Sacramento Street Underpass Rehabilitation. The underpass is still expected to reopen by the end of November. The remaining railings are being hot dipped, galvanized, and when that process is complete, they will be installed and the underpass will be reopened. Somerville Ave Utility and Streetscape Improvements. During the week of November 18th, Eversource Electric is expected to be working between Webster Ave and Prospect Street. Crews plan to drive large steel micro piles into the ground at Merriam Street and Somerville Ave intersection next to the Public Safety Building. During daytime work hours, abutters can enter and exit the section of Merriam Street via Washington Street. City contractors will continue installing another section of the 800,000 gallon box culvert drainage system in front of Stone Ave. For the next several weeks, Stone Ave and Stone Place can be accessed via Columbus Ave. Somerville High School Building Project. At the Eastern Wing, foundations are expected to be completed within the next week or so. A second crane will be arriving on site to help advance the steel work. Mechanical, electrical, and plumbing work continues at the Western Wing, and crews will continue tarping the exterior to fully enclose it for winter weather protection. Washington Street Water Main Upgrades. City contractors may be transferring water services off of the temporary water main and over the upgraded permanent main. They hope to have all services transferred by the end of November. In the meantime, please note the temporary water service lines are susceptible to freezing, so residents on Washington Street between Beacon Street and Hawkins Street who are receiving water from temporary main are advised to leave one faucet running at a drip whenever sub-freezing temperatures are expected. Citywide Manhole Rehabilitation National Water Main The city's contractor is rehabilitating manholes throughout Somerville during the spring of 2020. Lane closures, lane shifts, and parking restrictions may be implemented as needed. During the week of November 18th, crews plan to be on the following streets. Those streets are Adrian Street, Albion Street, Ashland Street, Bowdoin Street, Broadway from Boston Ave to Barton Street, Caldwell Ave, Charles E. Ryan Road, Cherry Street from Highland Ave to Summer Street, Clifton Street, Concord Ave, Dixon Ave, Dimmick Street, Franny Road, Glenwood Road, Hancock Street, Hanson Street, Ivalu Street, Kent Street, Morrison Ave from Cedar Street to Pritchard Ave, Murdoch Street, Park Street, Pritchard Ave from Morrison Ave to Kidder Ave, Rogers Ave, Sycamore Street, Tennyson Street, Tremont Street, Vernon Street, Village Street, Willow Ave from Elm Street to Summer Street, and Windsor Road. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying their residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. Eversource Gas will be doing construction on Berkeley Street, Dearborn Road, Highland Road, Pearson Road, Seven Pines Ave, and Winter Street. National Grid will also be doing construction on Middlesex Ave, 
This has been a construction update for the week of November 18th, provided to you by the City of Somerville and read to you by Lena, part of the Somerville Media Center.